Hey guys, how you doing? VT Maestro here. Hope all is well. Well, I'm coming at you today with a new video, an update on the M phase microinverters. As you know from my previous video, I uh, went ahead and switched around a couple of microinverters, an M215 and an M250, and looking to see if uh, I was able to solve some of the energy production issues. And uh, the results are fairly interesting, but not conclusive. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I found out by looking at the software. All right, so let's go back and take a look at a couple days here. Right now I'm looking at Monday. This is the first decent day we had after I switched around a couple of those microinverters and it was partly cloudy. Let's go ahead and take a look at a peak. This is at 12.55 in the afternoon, solar noon here. And you can see here's my M250 on this 265 watt panel and I'm peaking out at 246 and my M215 is 221 and it matches up nicely with the rest of the M215s here. So check this out on this side of the array. These are my Suniva panels and you can see I'm getting good production. I'm actually getting better production on these four than the other five. So looking at this I would say well moving these two microinverters around seems to have increased the production from the Suniva panels and has this solved my issue. And looking down here you can see that uh, the new system is performing nearly at peak. So that's a good thing. Now what's a little perplexing here is if we go to the next day, and here's a day where we had pretty good sun. Panels were a little dirty. I came home that night and I washed them off. There was some dust. But here we go. We didn't get quite to peak because looking at the bottom solar, we were at about 2.30 roughly on average. But if you look up here, here are my M215s, and here's my M250 here, roughly the same power as the rest of the M215s, and here's my M215, which is matching up just about at the same power as my M250s here. So back to the same issue, M215s are outperforming the M250s. But now I'm thinking that the intensity of the sun certainly has something to do with this issue here. The issue is either in the trunk cable here or it's perhaps my Suniva panels are not performing as well as the solar world panels up here. Let's take a look at one more day here. So this was yesterday, Wednesday. Again, partly cloudy. It was sunny towards the end of the day. Let's go ahead and find the peak. It's about around here. You can see the new array is in the low 240s. Here's my M250, 227, matching up nicely with the M215s here. And my M250 is matching up with the M215. So again, I'm thinking perhaps it's the intensity of the sun and not so much uh, an issue with the N-phase microinverters. All right, guys, I'm back outside here in the field. And it looks like my next step to do is to move around a few more microinverters because I want to make sure I want to eliminate the microverters as the problem here. I'm thinking now it may be the trunk cable itself or the wiring going back to that specific branch. So in order to do that, I'm going to move a couple new microinverters to where some of my M250s are. So let me show you how that's going to work. All right, so here are my newest panels here, 10 set up with M250s, and these are 285 watt solar world panels. And behind there, I have my M215s here and my M250s. These are all 270 watt panels except for this very end one, which is 265 watts. This panel here is where I switched with the panel over here. So this panel right now has an M250 on it, and I took the M215 here and put it over here, and that one has the M215. I'm going to take the M250 off this third panel in the middle, and I'm going to switch it with the brand new M250 off the new setup and just switch them. I'm going to see if this M250 here produces roughly the same power with all the rest of the end phase M250s. And that will definitely let me know if there's a problem with this set of M250s. Alright guys, see I'm going to finish up this video here. I'll let you know the results here with a new video, but still kind of perplexed by this whole situation. 
Still a lot to figure out here, but still some more testing to do. All right, guys, thanks for watching. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, and we'll catch you next time.